Welcome to the 2019 Year in Review SC2K Show. This is Ron Moore, along with Lady Zelda and Mexico. Hello. Where did the decade go? Where did the year go? Where right. did everything go? Yeah, it's been over 10 years since this channel's been around. And this channel made it to 2020. Thumbs up, people. You know right. the one. Yeah. Please, thumb down, th thumbs down, unsubscribe, and don't share. Um, yeah, so 2019, <laughs> 2019 was a pretty decent year um, for this 2K channel. And yeah, so uh, I remember in January, um, New Year's Day, as a matter of fact, 2019, I uploaded uh, Metal Gear Solid Part 9. I think the Let's Play that was done by World of Long Plays. So the Metal Gear Solid LP was still going on by the beginning of the year. And I think this is the year that Lady Zelda joined us in commentary. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. I th I th she don't or, even or, know. No, no, wait a minute. I think it was the end of 2018, was it? And then... The uh, yeah, yeah, I think it was. And then, uh, yeah, that's right, because the Ocarina of Time LP, the first two parts got taken down. And then we restarted again, I think, maybe in January. Oh, uh, yeah, because that's when we were trying to do stuff with Whoa. Tibbs, and he was in a few videos. Yeah, your audio <laughs> is... Yeah, you're sounding robotic right now. Pulling the Danny. Yeah. Okay, how about now? No, now, now you're good. Now you're good. Okay, uh... Yeah, and so January 25th, it says here, Part 1 was re-uploaded. This time we're using better footage from Word of Long Plays, who did not strike us down because they don't care that we use their footage as long as we give them credit, which is what I've done it anyway. Uh, that part got 14 thumbs up and 70 views, which is pretty good. What can you say people like that, LP? Yeah, and uh, no better... Give the people what they want. It's a year now, and we're still doing... We're still going on... Dang, man. You know, these LPs, I mean, man, like... They, uh, the year would go by before you know it. And because I've, I've done this before in other channels, like I remember Yoshi's Island, I was working on the Yoshi's Island LP, and man, um, I realized by the summer of 2014, I was still working on that LP one year later. And I'm like, geez, I'm st still working on it? What? And yeah, so that, that tends to happen, like, because I do other projects. And all that stuff, and uh, I just get sidetracked and don't uh, finish a certain LP, I guess, in a timely manner. And Ocarina Tom on the S2K channel, uh, I had a lot going on the Ron Moore channel. For those of you who watched my Happy New Year's video, you know all about that. A lot was going on on that channel last year. And so the S2K channel, uh, I guess, indirectly took a back seat or is on a back burner, I guess. And so the uh, Ocarina Tom LP, well, in addition to. Even if um, the first two videos did not get taken down in December 2018, we'd probably still be doing the LP. And so um, it's been going almost a year now, and we're like barely past the Shadow Temple. So that's pretty crazy. Um, and no better time for Lady Zelda to debut than in an Ocarina of Time, a Zelda LP. I agree with that. Yeah. And so... Tibbs is not able to really do much with us anymore, except maybe the less discussed portions of stuff. And so, Which yeah. Which is still awesome. I love those. He does a good, really good job at those. Yeah, and, but, so I guess to take his place, as far as uh, someone that knows their stuff about Zelda, is Lady Zelda. Well, holy crap. Don't you just love technical difficulties? Oh, there you are. <laughs> were, you, <laughs> were you trying to talk the whole time, or... It was, it like went Fifty Shades of Screwy on me, <laughs> like, oh, like, like I, I could hear you and then I couldn't. Oh man, yeah, I guess we have to wing it here. Do the best this we can. This is what happens when you use Skype. Are you oh, using? Wait. No, we're just yeah, we're on Discord. Jamie, and I told you Discord sucks. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he would say that. Yeah. Um. So, but 2019 was a pretty a decent year for. 
the S2K channel, uh, now in 2020. And, uh, uh, so let's start uh, from the beginning here. As I said, New Year's Day, part 9 of Milgar Solid was still going. Uh, act actually, that, uh, huh, that was a premiere. It says premiere. I wonder why a premiere part 9. I wonder what was going on. With oh, I know why. It was the return of J-Man. I thought you might get that. J-Man like, was in that part. I said, Ron Moore is joined a commentary by Mexico and an old friend. And so, yeah, but, but whose side is he on? Yeah, game man. Um, even though he didn't uh, do too much else, that yeah, he did, he was a part of the tenth anniversary live stream, and I think maybe one or two other things. But um, so he's not back full time, but he was his first time commentating, I think, on the channel since 2017. So oh wow, that was something else uh, to see J Man commentate on uh, S2K. That was a big deal, and that premiered on New Year's Day. I think I believe that was the. Uh, I mean, I think that was the return of. Yeah, because that's what the description box said. New Year's Day, 2018. Uh, 2019, excuse me. I think I started talking to him again at the uh, end of 2018. Is what happened, and then I got him in. Uh, I think somewhere toward uh, maybe New Year's Eve or so. We did commentary for that part, and then I uploaded it as a premiere on New Year's Day. So. January 7th, <laughs> Gen 2 did Resident Evil Survivor Part 1. Oh, God. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Uh, 14 thumbs up, 25 comments, and 65 views. Yeah, I think I wanted, I requested Gen 2 to do that, and he did. I dare you to, and he did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's something. Uh,. January 9th, as of this recording, we're recording this on January 9th, this might be uploaded maybe the 10th or the 11th. January 9th, 2019, the S2K Show 2018 year in review. How ironic. Um, and then, in January, we continue the Melgar Solid LP. Uh, then the final part, well, the Resident Evil Survivor LP was only done in two parts. And that final part was uploaded January 30th. Another good, uh, Statistically speaking, video at least good for us. 15 thumbs up, 21 comments, and 55 views. And then February 11th, still ongoing. Let's play Umbrella Chronicles Part 6. Will the real Albert Wesker please stand up? Yeah, that, that one's gonna be a while. I just. <laughs> and uh, Mrs. Mexico is not pleased with you taking a long time. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, that one, part six, got uh, 13 thumbs up, 12 comments. Uh, okay, February 17th, I started the LP of Goldeneye. Now that was that was pretty fun to do. Goldeneye part one on February 17th was uploaded, and Lady Zelda was in some parts of that one. That one was fun. <laughs> And let's discuss, Mil play discuss Mel Gear Solid, which, oh wait, that's the unlisted version. Uh, okay, yeah. Let's play discuss Mel Gear Solid, uploaded February 24th. Which is funny because, I don't know, maybe it's the way you edit it. Now I guess I got by the, cop the content ID system, I guess. It says, the unlisted version, which is made for commentary only, for us to see, is copyright claimed. But the one, the finalized version was not. <laughs> what? Okay, whatever. As long as you don't get taken down. Uh, I see. Uh, for those of you confused, copyright strikes and claims are different. Claims is where they take whatever revenue they get from us through ads. Strike is when they get taken down. All right, let's play Silver Eye. Part six, uh, part sixty-four for N sixty-four part three. Oh God! That was, that was the <laughs> runway level. That was pretty fun because I, I used a lot of cheats in this LP just for just for the fun of it. So that made the LP more fun. Uh, I think Mexico, you were in this stream with me, a live stream of Super C. No, that was a Super C test stream. I think I did that. It's called test stream for. I guess I was testing on Twitch. I don't even remember what test stream for. It's not the first time I streamed on S2K. Sounds about right. Maybe. 
Hmm. And I continue with the Golden Eye, Golden Ear, Golden Rod throughout March, and then uh, Umbrella Chronicles Part 8, Gio and Carlos on March 24th. My, my favorite part of the LP. That's, that's my favorite part of the game, too, at that, too. Yeah. And Super Street Fighter 2, the ECW Challengers live stream on March 24th. We continue the Ocarina Time Up. As I said, we're still working on that, so that's going to be uh, shown on. I'm looking at the video, uh, the video section here at the studio, YouTube Studio, Classic Studio. I don't like the new one. Um, and let's see here. Oh yeah, uh, March 28th, I did a SC2K 500 subscriber special because our channel reached 500 subscribers at that time. It is now at 603 as of as of this recording, so that's pretty cool. The Rombor channel reached a thousand subscribers, and the S2K channel reached half that amount, but still a pretty good milestone. We continue to go to Nye and Ocarina of Time throughout the whole thing. Throughout the whole thing. What the heck was that? Throughout the, yeah, we continue throughout the whole thing. <laughs> we continue out the whole year. I get, uh, Ocarina of Time still going, of course. Go to I uh, find out here in a minute exactly when it ended. There's 20 parts, I think, because I did uh, tw all 20 levels, including the bonus ones. <laughs> Remember the the Moonraker one where you're uh, in the Aztec complex? That was pretty fun. Uh, us three wasn't that, that was one. awesome. That was the first time I've ever seen that. Too. It seems like most of the year it's just us three, and that's it. J Man with some appearances, Gen Two with his Survivor LP, Tibbs probably made a less discussed appearance, and uh, on this 2K show last year, last year the 2018 year in review, I think it was was it me, you, and Jeff? Yeah, Jeff was here last year. Okay, that's cool. Oh, here's one. Uh, June 1st, 2019. It says June 2nd, but that's the stream ended, I guess, over or processed over midnight. Uh, Mega Man 2. And the reason why I live streamed it uh, on that day, June 1st, 2019, is because that was the like 30th anniversary of the game in North America. So that was cool to do. Uh, Mega Man 2 live streaming that to celebrate its 30th release. 30th release. 30th anniversary release in North America. And it was done June 1st, 2019. Well, I think Wikipedia, I forgot, I think it said June 1989. They don't say the exact date, I think. And I just said, fine, I'll do it on June 1st. I don't care. Um, Close enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I live streamed on June 8th, Simon's Quest. And June 9th, I, uh, let's see. Oh, I, live, I did a chill stream with Punch Out and F Zero. And then I think that same day, I did a uh, another chill stream, Mega Man 3 and Metroid on SC2K. That was two and a half hours long. And, oh yeah, uh, June 11th, I did Fear of Fury 1 and 2 on Genesis and Royal Rumble for Genesis. I think you were with me on that one, Mexico. That was a three hour stream, and I think you were with me on that one. Oh yeah, was that the one I started to fall asleep towards the end? I'm like, ooh, I'm getting... I think I might have made it all the way through. I'm not sure, but I do remember that one. Yeah, I'm not sure I have to go back. I almost pulled the jab. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, June of 22nd. This is around the time I started live streaming Capcom vs. SNK on both channels. Um, so I start, yeah. yeah, so I started doing that. <laughs> and, uh, okay, so uh, SmackDown vs. Raw PS2. I think BioPhoenix might have been part of the com commentary, or maybe just in the chat room. I don't really remember. Um... SmackDown vs. Raw, because I got my own PS2 now, and I was actually streaming from a console, not a r emulator. So that was cool, because um, I got my own PS2, and I started doing CBS2, SmackDown vs. Raw, and then, of course, the LP of Metal Gear Solid 2 on the Raw War channel. Um, and then on June 29th, I did a CBS2 Mark of the ECW 2019. Um, and some more SmackDown vs. Raw, continue to do GoldenEye, and I'm trying to find out where, okay, uh, yeah, we're coming up on the 10th anniversary of the channel here, 2019, as we continue to do GoldenEye and Ocarina of Time. Uh, July 18th, they went ahead and did the 10th anniversary live stream. That was me, you, and then J-Man was in that one for a little while. And I did SmackDown vs. Raw, and I forgot what other games I did. Oh yeah, J-Man joined the call and said, um, I thought this was, a." Uh, supposed to be a podcast or something. Are we live? I said, we're live, pal. 
Well, and let me I, do it again. I like, oh, sorry, we're um, live. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and that was July 18th. 19th through the 25th, I took time off of YouTube because my girlfriend was in town from Mexico. So there was nothing else done until July 30th, where I continued the LP of Ocarina of Time Part 9. And I continued GoldenEye, more CBS2 live streams. And I'm entering the final stretch here of what we did in 2019. And this is where it gets interesting toward the year. I finished GoldenEye. Uh, I live streamed Fair Fury 2 again because that game never gets old. Fair Fury 2 on Genesis. Uh, oh, yeah, and uh, this kind of sucked, but it's back up. It's unblocked now. The WWF Attitude live stream, You Can't Kill My Buzz, gets uh, blocked worldwide for, uh, I think, 30 days because the WWF copyright claimed it or was blocked. I, I disputed it. They did not dispute it back, so it was, I think, Content ID claimed is what it was because of DX music. And oh, I didn't yeah, know about it. DX music. I didn't know about it until Mexico sent me a message on Discord and said, Tell me this ain't happening. And oh, yeah. And I it do said remember Block that. Worldwide. I'm like, You gotta be kidding me. So I filed a dispute. This is not a copyright strike, so I can't, couldn't dox myself or anything. This is not filed by an individual person. This is like Content ID claimed because of DX music copyrighted by whoever. And then you have block DX worldwide. show up at your house. Yeah. Why are you using our music? Yeah, it's like, calm down. We're not making even making money off of this. And so, uh, but after 30 days of, it's still copyright claimed, but it is not blocked anymore. So after 30 days, it wasn't blocked anymore. So that's cool. And this is one stream I did not enjoy doing because this is my first time. I let the CPU go at it, but after watching the game, it did not make me want to play it. Capcom Fighting Evolution for PS2. This game came for free with uh, Capcom vs. SNK2, I think, when I ordered it on eBay. And I had heard, I think, from Venom 22 and Archangel Zero years ago that this was not a good game. And uh, it wasn't very good. And I watched the CPU go at it, and yeah, I was not impressed. That, that stream was lame, but I at least wanted to try it. But it still got eight thumbs up. Even though thumbs down don't bother me, thumbs down don't hurt anybody. Just more engagements and more views for the video. It still got eight exactly. thumbs up, two comments. I uh, remember, I think someone has said, uh, yeah, it wasn't that good. I don't want to click off of here and read the comments because it might, uh, well, I guess I could hit the back button. Sometimes it don't take me back to where I need to be. I hope I don't lose my spot here. Okay, the comments. Okay, I put not as good as CPS2 laugh out loud. And then Savage JSAC says, there was not any games that can compete with that great game. Talking about CPS2. Yeah. That is true, but my goodness, Capcom Fighting Evolution was not ECW. Exactly. Um, okay, and uh, September 5th, 2019, Resident Evil, The Subway, Eat Fresh, Part 9. <laughs> do you remember that one, Mexico? Yeah, I do remember that one. That was the part where I was getting told, uh, when are you going to continue the LP? When are you going to continue the LP by somebody <laughs> that shall remain nameless? I've, nonetheless. You should try to get her in commentary. don't know exactly who I'm talking about. But that was a good one. I do remember that. You should try that to was get... when we took a long break from Resident Evil. Yeah, you should try to get Val in commentary. Oh man, that'd be hilarious. You I think she'll do I it? I wouldn't even know which. <laughs> do you think Let's she'll do it? Let's just leave it at that. It'd be hilarious. Do you think she'll do it? I... I don't know. That's a good question. I could always ask. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> There's a good just chance. Ask There's a good her. Maybe she's listening. She'll post a comment and answer the question. Never know. Ooh, there yeah. you go. We'll find <laughs> out in the comment section. Yeah. September 7th. SC2K Live. WWF. Monday Night Raw. For the SNES. Hello, what up? It's my man, Lord. Bob the Brain Hidden. We're live on the SC2K channel. <laughs> and then Jared Lawler comes. Shut up, man. Your toupee's falling off. Uh, Alright, so September 8th, the next day. Royal WWF Crown Royal Rumble for Genesis. I don't think J-Man was in that one, but he probably would have loved to be in that one. The same day, NWO Revenge. That was fun. I think, what's his name? Austin Mr. Destroyer was in maybe one or two live stream commentaries with me. And uh, Revenge, I think, was one of them. WrestleMania 2000 was also another one the next day. WrestleMania 2000 live stream on N64. 
And then later on, later on that same day, No Mercy for N64. This might have been the... Oh, this is the one where the power went out. And I had... Because this stream only lasted 58 minutes. The power went out. And I think the next day is when I picked up the stream and started it again. The Battle Royal. That's right. The power went out. That sucked. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, yeah, so, and then moved on. Uh, did another stream of Super C. Called it Super ECW. Uh, continued with Ocarina of Time, CBS2 live streams, some more chill streams. Oh, uh, and this was uh, where it gets really, really entertaining toward the end of the year. You and Danny were in, the, in this one with me. SC2K Live, Castlevania Bloodlines. Oh, yeah. I think I was in the beginning half of that stream, and then I ended up having to leave, and I think Danny took over the second half, I believe. Yeah, and I did not beat the game. I was playing on normal. Because if you beat the game on easy, you don't get the ending. On normal, you get part of the ending, but still don't see the whole thing. Classic Konami wants you to beat the, wants you to beat the game on freaking hard. To see the well, entire I'll ending. beat the game with the hammer. Yeah. But there's a fun stream to do, almost three hours long. That, that was an awesome game. I enjoyed live streaming it. And November 26th, the next week, SC2K Live, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, and Mexico was in that one with me. One of my favorite Sonic games ever. Well, not my favorite. Well, it's up there. It's in the top three. I enjoyed that stream. Yeah. And, you can't argue, though, with Sonic. Right, and December 14th. I did Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on the channel. I don't know if anybody was with me on that one. Commentary wise. Uh, I know I wasn't. I, w I wanted to be, but I couldn't. Yeah. And then the last thing we did of the last thing we did of 2019, the part 16, the Shell Temple of Ocarina of Time. And so yeah, so 20 uh 2019 uh toward the end there it really got fun and uh, early, I mean earlier earlier in the year we, it was fun with uh Ocarina of Time, we're still doing that, and GoldenEye, and then uh, other various live streams. GoldenEye was the best. I had the most fun doing those. Those were like just a blast. Yeah, a blast with C4. Remember that part? Boom! Remember that part, Victoria, like I was invincible, and I shot the plastic explosive, and I was running around like I was a suicide bomber, and anything that I saw would I like, blow up? <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that was cool. Now, a little tidbit. Most of the stuff footage I used was from my LP on the Romero channel in 2016 of GoldenEye. So that was pretty cool. Um, I have one going to do. Copyright strike myself. Do it, Ron. Do it. That would be stupid. If I did that but, and YouTube found out I'm screwing around, they would terminate. Well, uh, if... They say if one of your channels get terminated, all your channels get terminated. So, Ooh, wow. Yeah. And uh, so, but that is the end of all we did in 2019. Pretty decent year. J-Man uh, came back uh, here and there a little bit. And so, yeah, that really was great. And uh, Victoria got to join us in several com commentaries. And we're not done yet because we're still doing Ocarina of Time. And... Resident Evil ECW Chronicles. Yeah, we still got two more parts of that. Pretty soon, Mr. Gigi would do commentary with us on the Predator Chronicles. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe the Hoax Hotel would join us to do some uh, prank calls. Prank oh, calls. that'd be awesome. Josh Brand I was joking with somebody at work today. I said, hey, dude, they're making the Hoax Hotel for PS5. He goes, for real? Yeah, he's going to come with a peripheral phone. And you get on, you get a uh, online. You sign in online. The online game will feature you actually calling real scammers and trolling them, and, who, and you're competing against other pranksters to see who control uh, uh, the most scammers. And and to get online ranking system and all that stuff. And then I said, No, I'm just kidding. He actually bought it for a minute. He thought, Really? <laughs> Well, it would be something different, something nobody's ever tried before, and who, who wouldn't have fun, you know, messing around with those scammers, pissing them off, and doing all that. Yeah, the Hoax Hotel would probably make millions off of that. Oh, yeah. Uh, For sure. Uh, whoever's behind the channel, he has many aliases, Kavach Novograd, uh, Panini Sickle, Sipplewix, uh, Pertussis Wexleyville, all these aliases he comes up with. Pertussis Wexleyville might be my favorite. That's a good one. 
And there was the other ones too, I forgot. Uh, oh yeah, he poses as uh, Betty. This is your Betty here. Uh, uh, you got to go to the money gram and send the money. <laughs> <laughs> and he posed, uh, he, he used to do a character named Greta. This is Greta here. I was wondering if I could send the money to money gram. <laughs> and yeah, so. Uh, Alright, so that's the end of 2019, all we did, and now we're in 2020, uh, and I really don't know uh, what the future holds uh, for 2020, uh, for this 2K in this year. I don't have 2020 vision, so I can't tell you, but um, I'm mainly going to be focusing a lot on the Rumble channel, um, mainly straight, doing a lot more streams than anything else, um, as far as like LPs or anything, and no, I'm not going to abandon this 2k channel but I'm more so gonna focus on the Ron War channel live streaming and uh, when it comes to live streams on sc 2k I still try to get multiple commentators like maybe one or two or three people uh, one or two people to join me like I did with Castlevania Bloodline, Sonic the Hedgehog and I'm still gonna finish the Ocarina of Time LP as far as live streams we'll see and like Sting said in WCW well the only thing sure about sc 2k is that nothing's for sure so we'll see what happens in 2020 and beyond. And so, yeah, uh, I want to thank uh, you three. Oh, you three. You two. Us three. You two. Yeah. <laughs> I want to thank you two for uh, YouTube. Oh, man. Hopefully, Copa won't mess things up. And, uh, yeah, so you two, thank you very much for joining me in a lot of the commentaries we did, particularly in GoldenEye and ECW of Tom. Oh, man, it's been fun. Very it's fun. been great. I mean, it you know, just all the priceless times of just, well, me actually giving Mexico cool crap and just going, see, this is how not to pull a Mexico. Cool. <laughs> I've done that I don't exactly. know how many times now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and even though I would love to make a living doing this stuff, it's still not all about the money. It's all about having fun doing it. And not just exactly. having fun doing it, it also, stuff like this can also help help people escape reality and have fun and get their mind off of the crap in the world. And whether it's us doing it, us doing a commentary that helps us get our mind off of things, or it's people watching our stuff and it helps them get their mind off of things. And I, I, I would like my, these two channels, SC2K and Rumble channel, to be just that. No toxicity. I mean, I don't do this for money. Of course, I would like to make a living or make some sort of revenue doing it. That's why donations are welcome or uh, merchandise sales or Patreon, whatever have you. But uh, I still do it. As you know, I don't make a living doing this if I did I would have quit my uh, full-time job a long time ago but I still do it because ultimately it's, it's fun and uh, as far as monetary gain that's just only when people feel like donating whenever and uh, but I do this mainly for fun as a fun hobby on YouTube for 12 years now and so I'm, I mean I've been doing this from 2007 and here we are in 2020 I'm going on 13 years this year on YouTube and so I guess I'm kind of one of the OGs of YouTube, even though not many people I would, know I who would I agree am. With that. You are. No one knows who I am. But uh, YouTube started in 2005, and I was I had started around the time before Google really changed things. I mean, by the time I started doing YouTube, Google had bought it, but it's not the way it is now. YouTube was so much different back then, in 2007, 2008. So much better. And we're in 2020 now. 2020, and from what I heard, Copa is not going to be as bad as it uh, seems, unless you are a kid's channel that's made a living doing that stuff, but from what I heard, Copa would have to, like, if they were going to find somebody, even though I, I put all my videos as rated 18 and up or age-restricted, if someone's going to get fined in particular, they would really have to go through, like, a process uh, or something like that to find you, or, or, or they would have to find you based on your income, and I don't really make much of anything my channel's not monetized uh if it ever does get monetized I, i'm gonna just monetize like live streams just for super chat donations and to put my teespring merchandise on the bottom of the video uh as far as videos being monetized i'm not gonna have any of my videos monetized because they'll get demonetized anyway and uh so i mean yeah uh the copa thing is uh from what i understand it's not really going to affect, I'm pretty sure, not going to affect uh, any uh, smaller gaming channels, really anybody that just puts their, uh, th that 
their audience to general audience or rated uh, 18 and up, which I made sure both channels are rated 18 and up just to cover our ass. So, viewer uh, discretion is advised. These channels, these two channels, especially this one, is not <laughs> made for kids. The Rombor channel may kind of be sometimes, not necessarily though, because I don't curse that much on there unless you, the only cursing you hear is maybe from like co commentators. This 2K channel, especially if you listen to Bears commentary in the early years, is not made for kids. So, we don't, I don't think we have to anything to worry about with Copa or getting taken down or fined. And I'm uh, just going to hope for the best to keep doing this as a hobby. And I still on Twitch and Mixer as well. And so, yeah, uh, there you go. And that's our 2019. We'll see what 2020 holds. And uh, as we are now in 2020, we'll continue to finish. Ocarina of Time, and hopefully by 2025, Resident Evil and Vertical Chronicles will be finished. Hopefully. No yeah. promises. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys. There you go. That is it. We are out of here. Hope you guys have a great 2020. Alright, guys. Have a good night. I'm Ron Moore. God bless, and take care. Till next time. See Stay ya. easy, See ya. Here's the roar. I told you she was a robot. I'm out of here. Uh, happy New Year!